Hello, I'd like to start my talk with a question. How many of you have noticed high fructose corn syrup or added sugars as one of the top ingredients in some of your foods? Pretty normal now, right? Um, as you may know, fructose is a simple sugar. It can be found naturally in things like fruits and vegetables, but is also one of the main components in regular white sugar. With the increased availability of sugar in recent history, and now with the addition of ingredients like high fructose corn syrup, average fructose intake has increased nearly 100-fold in the last two centuries, and now accounts for nearly 10% of total caloric intake in the United States. This diet shift has paralleled with an <clears throat> increase in diagnosis of immune system-mediated inflammatory diseases like multiple sclerosis and diabetes. So with fructose intake increasing so drastically and inflammatory disease incidents rising right along with it, I'm interested in looking at how fructose impacts our health. Specifically, I'm trying to answer the questions, how does fructose in intake impact the gut microbiome and how does that influence the immune system and ultimately disease susceptibility? So the gut microbiome is the name for the trillions of bacteria that live in our gut. It's an incredibly diverse population with an estimated 500 to 1,000 different species present. Most of those bacteria are good bacteria and they play a vital role in human health. They help break down nutrients from the food that we eat, interact with the immune system to teach it how to balance fighting infections with not causing you harm, and just take up space so that the bad disease-causing bacteria don't have a place to grow and cause problems. However, the composition of the gut microbiome is not static, and there are many factors that can influence the overall composition. These factors can be positive or negative, working to shift the <clears throat> composition towards good, generally anti-inflammatory bacteria, like most probiotics, or towards bad, generally inflammatory bacteria. However, we think that the food you eat is one of the main factors in determining which bacteria are dominant. So to investigate this, I feed mice a diet high in fructose for several weeks, before using genetic sequencing to determine which bacteria and how many of them are present in their gut. And what I found is that their gut microbiome does significantly change while on the diet with generally inflammatory bacteria increasing the most and generally anti-inflammatory bacteria decreasing the most. I've also found that mice fed a high fructose diet have worse disease outcomes when a multiple sclerosis like disease is induced. This supports our hypothesis that a diet high in fructose can impact the gut microbiome and influence overall health and disease. So as my research goes on, I'm gonna continue looking at these bacterial species shifts in bacterial species and how they influence local and systemic inflammation and immune responses during health and disease. By starting to understand these basic mechanisms of change, I hope to learn how we can start shifting the gut microbiome and subsequently immune responses back towards a more healthy state, especially for people who have inflammatory diseases.